you're aware immediately what decade you're in, whether you were alive in it or not. I believe the exact time frame is 1984. Nike has a guy named Sonny, who is played by Matt Damon. Sonny's in charge of coming up with the ideas for the basketball side or the sector of Nike. And up until this point, they haven't come up with much. They have running apparel. They've got, you know, kind of the, the, the jerseys and the jumpsuits, stuff you would use while you're working out or running mostly. That's what Nike is known for up until this point. And they're really suffering in the shoe department. So they're trying to come up with some new ideas. Uh, ben Affleck is the owner of Nike and he's putting pressure on Sonny to come up with something great. Um, Jason Bateman's there uh, to help him alongside this story. And um, there is a, for sure, a 1980s filter as far as the cinematography goes on this film. You can tell they're trying to date it a little bit and it works. Uh, it doesn't distract from the movie, it adds to it. So the cinematography is great. The songs are great. You're gonna feel like you're in the 80s again and it's just a fun uh, late spring, early summer movie the way they come up with the branding for this shoe is unbelievable. They, you know, they're under the gun. They're, they're tasked with, uh, or at least Sonny is, tasked with coming up with something brilliant, and he does. Uh, the ultimate decision's made to not just make a shoe for an athlete, but he actually makes the athlete part of the shoe. And this is with the Nike Air Jordans. There's a prototype built. They have the Air Jordans there. You see the red. Uh, that's a pretty uh, fun moment in the movie. And uh, there's a lot of back and forth about whether or not this is actually gonna work. And the ultimate decider comes down to Michael Jordan's parents, and specifically his mother, who cares about his career and him being able to be set up uh, from a financial standpoint and she fights for him like any good mother would she fights for the best deal and one of the most uh, competitive parts of her is when she lets them know that she expects a certain percentage of each shoe sold to go back to Michael and that's exactly what happens there's not Michael Jordan's not in this movie they have somebody playing him you see that a little bit, mostly from different weird angles, but Michael Jordan's not in the movie, and that's okay. That's probably a good thing. It works fine without him. This movie is more about the salesmanship and the branding of getting this off the ground, taking Nike from a, a somewhat of a laughing stock when it came to basketball apparel uh, to the front runner, and of course now, um, you know, Nike worth billions and um, the, the shoes alone, I forget the exact number, but at the end of the movie, they tell how much, how many shoes were sold, or how many dollars worth of shoes were sold. Um, not only just as apparel, but collector's items. Um, you know, my stepson bought and sold shoes. It's a real thing. Uh, there's stores in New York that do this and consignment uh, stores for big name brand shoes, um, you know, just look at the Yeezys, you know, you've got, um, you've got that whole line. So Nike puts their stake in the ground uh, with this basketball shoe, the Air Jordans, and ultimately the parents decide, you know, and Michael decides that he's going with Nike. He gets courted by Converse and some others. And uh, in the end, Sonny's ability to win over the mother is what closes the deal. This is a great 80s type movie. Uh, you're gonna get all the 80s nostalgia from it. Uh, it's tons of fun. Also, this movie, it looks like, is gonna be um, available free on Amazon Prime starting on May 12th. So check it out free over there if you have a Prime membership. Uh, hope you enjoyed as much as I did.